Is there a market crash coming in the housing market? People much smarter than me agree that there's not. There's a couple reasons why that can make you feel a little bit better about the situation, whether you're a home seller or a buyer or an investor. But the bottom line is that for the most part, the fact that we have such a lack of inventory is still going to create demand. People have to live somewhere. And depending on the area, depending on the zip code, city, town, village, wherever you live, it's going to be very market specific. So it's really important that you find out what's going on specifically in your local market and, and speak with a realtor that really understands the local market very well to find out what is going on in your very specific area. Now, aside from the very high demand in most areas of Michigan, in my case, across the United States, it's gonna, again, vary by region, state, city, town. But in most areas, there's still a shortage of great homes to purchase. And so demand is going to be there. Number two, when the previous crash occurred, there were so many things going on that contributed to that that are not in existence today. And primarily, the banks now are not just handing out money, uh, mortgages to anybody. There are a lot more stringent requirements, rules, and overlays that are in place to prevent what happened the last time. So that is also a huge contributor to the idea that a huge market crash in the housing market is not going to happen. And if you've tried to get a mortgage lately, you would know that there are particular rules that are in place that they're really looking for. And aside from the basics, each different lending institution, each bank, could have its own overlays that they put on top of your basic rules that make it even more particular as far as what they need, what they want to see. So that also will contribute to really preventing a crash like that happening. Those are like the number one and two big, big reasons. And also keep in mind, the fact that you hear some chitter chatter about housing prices decreasing or going down, it, it really is just coming back down to normal. So you saw a lot of this, what we call aspirational pricing, right? People were just saying, well, I'm gonna throw this number on the wall and see if it sticks. And if somebody's willing to pay it, great, then I'll sell and I'll move. Well, that's not happening anymore. If you talk to most realtors, I think that they can confirm exactly what I'm seeing. Every single day, I'm seeing price reductions happening. And those price reductions are not reducing the price to below value. It's really reducing the price back to what it should be, what the actual value or closer to the actual value of the home versus way, way above, which was not really accurately reflecting the value of the home. It, it of course, there's the value of what someone's willing to pay for a home. And of course, that value is a separate type of value. That's that buyer's personal value. So if you're saying, I'm willing to pay this amount because I need to be in this location, my job is moving, my company's relocating me, whatever the reason is. So, a, you know, somebody's personal desire to purchase something, obviously it depends on what they're willing to pay for it. But the actual value of what a home would appraise for is very different. And so in this case, you would see house, the housing prices just coming back down to normal, no big deal, just like with interest rates, just coming back to where they should be, no big deal. This is nothing to have a conniption fit over. It's just coming back down to normal, and I've said it before, normal is good. <laughs> we want normal, we don't want crazy, right? So for this type of information, please, Subscribe to my page. It helps my channel. I'd really appreciate it and allows me to bring valuable educational information to you, whether you're in Southeast Michigan, which is where I cover, or elsewhere in the United States. Please subscribe, click the little bell so that you get notified of future videos, and 
definitely share this video with anyone who's on uh, the path to either sell or buy a home. And if you're in Southeast Michigan or know someone who is that may need help or guidance, even if that's you know six months to a year out, they're starting to plan and just needs more education and information about the home selling or buying process, I'm Natalka and I'm in Southeast Michigan servicing that area. But also, no matter where you are in the United States, I have partners everywhere. Texas, Colorado, New York, New Jersey, Florida, everywhere that I can refer you to a reliable agent who's going to actually pick up the phone and have a conversation with you. So thank you for visiting this channel and I look forward to the next one.